John, can you give us a few reasons why people succeed at crowdfunding? Um, poof. You know, I'd say the easiest blanket statement would be because they set up their project properly, you know, and they strategized it well. And they, you know, it, 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 what people need to think about is that crowdfunding is very much like making a film, you know, that it's a lot of prep. You know, and all the the more work you do in the prep, it's going to benefit you in production. That if you prep properly, the production will be much smoother. And if you don't prep properly, you're going to be scrambling. You know, and then there's post. You there's the follow through. So um, you know, I think being realistic about who your audience is and how much of an audience you have, and making that you know sync with your goal. Um, and then also thinking about your audience and potentially what they'd want from you in terms of rewards and um, and providing those in a create and providing creative and interesting rewards you know having a compelling um, call to action and compelling video and being personable and and um, and and then you know, working it or, you know, having enough people on board to help work it during the campaign, you know, and that's, you know, what I would say, you know. Do you think people can take their social media as a collective of the project and kind of break it down and say, well, I'm assuming if we have X amount of Facebook followers, X amount of Twitter followers, realistically, we're going to be able to get this much. Do you think that I works? Mean, I think you have to be very pessimistic, you know, and, and really look at um, uh, conventional online conversion, you know, and online conversion is, you know, at best 1%. So, you know, which is very, so if you have 10,000 followers, say, which I almost do, say, so I have 8,000 followers on Twitter, and I, if I convert 1% of those to even look at my Kickstarter page, Right, so what is one percent of ten thousand? You know, I'm a math guy. So, uh, ten percent is one thousand, so one percent is a hundred. Not much, right? So if I get if I do a one percent conversion from my followers, so that's a hundred, and if I get one percent of those people to then convert from the conversion, because the the first conversion is the click, the second conversion is the buy. That's one person out of my 10,000 followers who are going to contribute. Now, I think I'm probably going to do better than that. But if I really want to be conservative, that's what you're looking at. So, yes, you can use your followers, but you have to be very conservative about what realistic about who you're going to convert. Now, I probably, you know, will have a higher conversion rate because I feel like you know, I like to, I feel like I followed my, you know, 80 20 rule and that, you know, I feel like I provide a lot of value to my followers and I think I've maybe engendered goodwill amongst them, I like to think. Um, and so, and I know there's certain people that I can call on to act, you know, and I've contributed to campaigns, etc. So, you know, I think, you know, you have to, so it's not an easy calculation. Let me just put it that way. It's not just saying, oh, I have 8,000 people, so 8,000 people will contribute, or 4,000 will contribute, and Kickstarter says the average is $70, so then 4,000 times 70 is is $40,280,000. So I'm gonna set my goal at, I'm gonna be conservative and set my goal at 200,000. You know, that's crazy town. You know, you're not, that's, it's not gonna work like that.